What's going on, everybody? It is Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. We are back in Wreckfest once again here today to try a special new challenge that I have formulated for us to try and survive here today as we have got to take on three tricky triangular tracks with three different types of NASCAR cars here in Wreckfest. We'll be rolling through various different eras, various levels of difficulty, and various levels of jankiness, as you will definitely see as we progress along this journey. So we won't hold it up anymore let's go ahead and get right into the first round here at the dirt devil stadium with the return of the nascar camaro mod so underway we go here for our first run of the day gonna try to squeak through this lane here as we're taking our first run in the camaros in a while little bumper car action we'll see how these things hold together as some turn one memory breaks out three wide let's change a lane here oh we're gonna catch the hood and flip near flip and cost a massive pile up right from the start. It's happened immediately. We're gonna try to back this thing up the old fashioned way. Did I just get it stuck? Don't do this to me, come on. Oh, there's the assist and here's gonna come another one that I didn't need and that is gonna end our day. It assists us to the junkyard. We're in a heap already, we're done. Well, race one of round one has gone poorly for us, but exactly the plan for Wreckfest. They know we haven't been here in a while, so they got a stomp on our hearts and let us remember what that pain feels like of getting knocked out of the race within seconds and taking quite a few cars with us as we did a Kyle Busch-esque self-clear job by switching lanes to avoid a sign and what I thought would be trouble in front of us and it ended up causing even more trouble as guys are going skyward back here. Let's just try that again. All right, take two, maybe matching their speed into turn one is the key. And then I just throw it right into the quarter panel of Dale Sr. right there. And he's going to throw us into this pile of stupid. It's not going anywhere, boys. Come on, Matty. He just threw himself out of pit. Ben, get out of here. Oh, my. They're just losing all control down here. It's mass hysteria in turn two. Oh, Derek Cope just driving halfway across the racetrack backwards. How very Derek Cope of you, sir. Or modern day Cope of you, I should say. We don't want to disrespect an OG. But damn. Grow some skill, please. I'm begging. Let's try to get back up the hill. And I get back up here. Let's gain the speed. Come on. Oh, we're going to nose it in. Probably add a little extra damage we didn't need. My God. Now we're going to drive by all the incapacitated buffoons and try to navigate these jumps while doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm failing quite miserably at it currently. And I beached it to boot. Great. Fantastic. Oh, this is grand. Are we catching... We're catching the leaders. We're catching everybody barely. Oh, nice job hitting the pole, Danica. Come on. Rule number two of stock car racing should just be know how to drive. Damn it. Maybe I should learn it. Hold on. Throw it in reverse. Teach him how it's done. Joe Nemechek gets the dub. Well, you know, good for them. Everything's coming up good for the Nemecheks lately, physically and virtually. Let's just drive this thing backwards. What the hell? We'll take it all the way home if we have to. I'm going to get spun around here and I didn't even want to. I was going to do a Kyle Busch Road America. Just take it back to the house in reverse. What other gear do you need? I'm like Tomato in this. Come on. Cross the line we go. Dale Earnhardt's trying to get that thing finished up. He's a lap down. We somehow crawled back to second. How the hell did we do that? Well, they gave us a second place finish just to give us a taste. We're going to give everybody a taste of our pain here in turn one as the usual memory unfolds marcus ambrose coming across all lanes of traffic i tried that earlier marcus it did not go well learn from my mistakes my friend oh and then you're gonna just turn yourself across the nose of me what are you doing man look at the pile in turn two it doesn't matter where we are it's never a bad day to have a crash when you're in wreck fest apparently according to the ai it's just written in the lines of code that's deep in there deeper than deep hundreds of thousands of lines i guarantee it and I can't even get one of them to help me steer through a corner, but we're going to get the power down. Oh, my God. What they do with the brakes? Just go straight on here. We got to catch up. We got to go full board now. We got no time to waste. And I'm actually going to lose a spot because of that. Come on. How is Natalie Decker going to just drive by me like I'm standing still? You can have this universe back. What did I just hit? Just crashed into the freaking invisible bolt mobile and kept it going a full 360. I will take it. Natalie's throwing it away. We got Jay back in here. Come on, bro. Get out of here. Trying to finish a damn race in case you can't notice. And I think we're out of it. Cole Custer managed to not get customized as he has been lately. And there's a nice little hammer drop on whoever that was. And we will once again 
at least conclude our destiny to bring it across the line in reverse. Fair enough. But we're getting one spot worse every time, so let's try to not do that. <laughs> Dave Marcus and I. I'm gonna hit the wall for good luck. Derek Hope, gonna put me in a damn tire barrier for good luck if he's not careful, and I have now just dropped horrible, horrible things on Dave Marcus. And it turns out I don't think that was for good luck after all. Because this has not worked out very good for us. We slowly get back going in the right direction. I'm wheel spinning my ass off, almost literally, as we damn near get involved in that wreck back there. But we're just going to keep our head forward. And oh my god, there's just nothing good to look at when you're going forward. Oh no, you wonder why I look back so often? It's because it's... I don't want to look at the horrors that are ahead of me. That was terrifying. There was just nowhere to go except crash into a pile. That's your life sometimes. Look at you can fully see within my trunk as well. That's a... It's a nice detail. I should model something in there as I'm not paying attention and just crash into cars laid out across the track. Should we take the long jump here? We might as well. We got to do it for style at this point. And that's a hard, hard spine check of a landing, too. You got to be real, real careful. Luckily for us, our regularly scheduled trip to the infield care center is going to be coming right up, I'm sure. We're on a first name basis down there at this point from the crashes and regular beatings. Oh, Dave, come on. What are you doing? How do you wreck when you're all by your damn self? What is that? And then I... Gas it too hard and smoke Brembo 9 and send myself in the pit just to go ahead and make an ass of myself. As I'm criticizing others, and Joe Nemechek is once again victorious. Just everything going great for the Nemechek family as a whole. Let's see, can we master this transition back up to the top again this time? Oh, we got it with the greatest of ease on this occasion. Have you ever... Oh, I thought that was just... Oh my god. I thought that was just pieces of car land there. And then I got in and it rendered and it's not... Oh, I'm getting scammed by the game today, and I'm not happy about it. What the hell was that? He just put himself on the wall, and I'm, now I'm hooking people. Now I'm causing trouble. I'm not taking credit for that first one behind me. That was just stupidity, and I'm using Dan to help me turn, and we're going to run under Matt, 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 whoever he is. This is why I call him Matty D all the time, because I'm always worried that's going to happen. I just had a total stroke out trying to say the poor man's name. And we're still wrecking ourselves through turn two, all the way from one to two, from the window to the damn wall, and up through the damn high jump. We got tire checks going off. Oh my god. All right, we cannot allow ourselves to get flustered like this, even when Dale's throwing himself in the line of fire like he just did. We gotta relax. Through the terror zone here, let's just go ahead and send it. What does it matter at this point? And we just caved in the right rear quarter panel. To hell with it. Oh, and I can't even drive through that part of the track, so we get an auto reset. That's actually good info. Got a nice little drift going here. Sucks to be you, J-Mac. You couldn't hold it. Oh, what is that? What is this hole in the wall? Come on, bro. Get out of the way. Marcus Ambrose gets the dub. Shout out to the man from Down Under. We'll try to get out from Down Under in the absolute slums of life where we're currently at spiritually after this beating we've been taking, but we somehow cling to the podium. Thanks to the AI's room temperature IQs. Come on, this race can be won and lost right here in the first corner, I believe. We just got to get a clean run. Hemrick's not helping. Austin Cindric's definitely not helping. Ben Rhodes really said it and paid the ultimate price. And thanks to that insanity, I think we actually got to here cleaner than we ever had before. Come on, Dave, I'll give you a push. Oh, I gave you the bad push. That's a bad touch. I'm sorry. That would be a Rocket League. Sorry, 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 sorry all day. My chat's definitely getting disabled. We got to pick our hopes and dreams up off the floor. Let's keep going. Push. Oh, there's nothing like landing that perfectly. I just feel so good. And we got carnage up here in front of us. Second and third taking each other out. Giving me the spot. Come on, can we all oh, a, a hidden car laying in the weeds? Oh, my. We can't be having that. That thing was camouflaged. That was perfect. I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think the four just fell victim to the same thing and he's gotten bashed. Destroyed by a couple of cars coming through. Can we catch this leader? We've got five seconds to Joe Nemechek and we let Joe Nemechek, a dynasty is being formed by the Nemecheks right now. We can't allow another win to take place. We got to get up there. And it's happening. It's happening. He's losing time. Where is he? He gagged. How'd he do it? There he is. Oh, he's out. He's, he's, he's out. He really just dead ass took himself out from the lead of the race front row, Joe. Oh my God, Danica, you could not have been in a worse spot. I'm trying to get this thing to the line as fast as possible and you're right in the landing zone. 
We don't even get time to react. We're through the final corners with 20 plus seconds on the field across the line. Round one is complete with a dub. And we finish round one in six races, which if you do the math at home means we took five steaming hot L's and beatings at the hands of the Wreckfest Terminators. But you know what? That is okay, because <laughs> what else would we be here for if not for that? causing some carnage ourselves even along the way. But we did get that dub, which is essentially a golden ticket onto our next round. We will get to that shortly after these replays. But first, we got to see how we dethrone the Nemechek dynasty once and for all. And we did all this without encountering too much jank, a lot less than I thought we would see with the de-rendering after certain distances and whatnot. But it really wasn't too much of a problem as we drop a hot elbow from the sky right on top of Danica Patrick in that 95 car and then drive off like nothing happened to come out of the corner and capture the flag. We got to take a look at that again. Here we come right at you. We're going to land one right in the door of Danica. Hopefully no passengers running today as it's just a hollowed out shell. That's all that's left. Ouch. Well, round number two of this triangular trial of sorts takes us to the Tri-Bend Speedway, a classic track that we've visited many times and had many an adventure at. We've got a new era of car to play around with as well, bringing out the 70s gate crashers with the NASCAR skins. And we've got to watch out for the usual hazards like those concrete barriers that protrude into the track and like to sneak up and bite you. So let's get to it and not get pulverized. Oh, nice late start there, and I immediately get ass packed. So, so much for not getting pulverized then. I don't think Armor All is going to protect me from that one. We're already hooking another Earnhardt. Same as last race, too. We're starting out hot. Now we've got, we've got Jeffrey and Dale Jr. now joining the mix. So we're getting, we're touching all the bases here. That's what's important. We've got somebody up there having a nice little hit into the wall and collecting a few others with him. He took one of the Earnhardts. I think that was Jr. And we're going to... A nice little slide job under Teddy Hill. Maybe, oh my God, no, we won't. We're just going to send him up out of the way and take Brett Moffat on a ride, and I'm going sailing. This is exactly what you got to be worried about. We're seeing it all on lap one, and the pack's going to come run through us some more, aren't they? Yes, they are. Nowhere is safe. We have two health points, two for Brad. How fitting. They're going to have to fit me into a wooden box if this keeps up. We've reached a new low of being the last car in the race who's still alive. That is that is a grand feeling. And we've got Jeffrey Earnhardt. We'll give him the push and what? Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. And this time they let us through the first corner without any problems. I don't get this game, man. I don't understand it. And then look at this. And oh, it's Earnhardt again, no. Why is there an Earnhardt conspiracy? And I'm getting packed, pushed. Oh, we got problems everywhere, right through the middle of the problems. And we just missed the execution. I know whoever this is is gonna stick it in there, but I'm trying to get max speed here. I'm not letting up for you. Oh, DW out of shape and up and over in front of the field. Damn you, DW. Why couldn't you take out the cars in front of me and not me? I'm gonna remember this, DW, and I'm gonna owe you one. I will keep that in mind, and Kyle Busch is gonna keep this in mind and probably beat the M&Ms out of me at some point, and it will be deserved, and I should respect him more. He's the ones keeping the hedge of cars at bay, kind of, but not really. And I got spots to make up here. It's the last corner on the last lap. Might have to send it three wide on these guys underneath. Just gonna have to risk it all. Three wide, and I just bodied Elliot Sadler right off the track. We're coming to the line with no holds barred. And it was a fight fest to the end in fourth. Down into the first corner we go again, and a little bit of a turn job on AJ there, but he'll straighten it out in the whole pack is going to straighten each other out through brute force. It would seem Earnhardt Jr. again getting taps from me. I'm sure he's had about enough. I think we're five wide right now. I think we might have been barely for a second. And Elliot Sadler's probably had about enough of me. And we're still three wide. I'm sending some guys off the track. I'm sending myself off the track. Get back on, get back on, get back on. That was a unhealthy, unsafe, just despicable rejoin. But it's wreck fest. You got to do what you got to do. We made it last, too, up here on the high side. Down to the corner. Paul Menard's going to make me pay for my crimes. No. Paul EY. Oh, my God. That's a terrible crash, and we're barrel rolling into the corner all the way down to two health points again, and we don't even come back to our wheels. We're on our side. That wreck was so wicked. We got to just finish it off here. Right for the fans, we'll do it even. Oh, my God. God, talk about up close and personal. Good thing that fence is made of vibranium. That wreck was so brutal for us. We got to check it out in the replay again as well. So, of course, Paul Menard taking us out, doing the dirty work. 
The 21 goes on a pretty wild ride himself, but not on quite a twisted tail as us. And we don't even make it back to the wheels. How sad. Brace for the compression in turn one. Breathing on my bumper. We get, oh, we get a nice little shot out of here on the bottom end. William Byron gives us a little door check. They all straighten it out, it seems. We've got a one, two, three pack ahead of us. And DW is one of them now, DW. I do believe I owe you a little something, something. We will be seeing you later on, my friend. Oh my God, he got destroyed. Oh, oh no, I'm a regular Carl Edwards. I took it a little too far. White flag is out. Two cars between us and the dub. Can we make the move right here? Yes, we can try. Marcus is gone. Took him out and that creates some space in the pack. Now it's me and the man from Monterey, Mexico. Track house's own. Can I set him up on this last corner? He got a good run out of that last one. This has got to be on me right here. Oh, straight now, straight now. Come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, damn, we were so close. Oh, we got to look at that again, but not before a little bit of the wreck replay. And here we have the 12 just getting launched down the racetrack. And an onboard shot to boot. Let's take a look at this. Oh! Remember when Carl Edwards wrecked Brad Keselowski at Gateway? Just out of, like, hatred? That kind of reminds me of that. Then we gotta check this onboard of the finish. See, Suarez almost got caught up in that, but he managed to hold it. Then we get to run on the outside. He holds the inside. Beautifully, I might say. And then we've got the run in the last corner. And maybe if we'd straightened it out, we could have got there, but he just edges us out by a damn nose. We had another lap, we would have been there. Into turn one, four wide, barely loses the spoiler via ass pack. We'll get that run. Oh, William coming down, we'll take some guys out here. We're just dumping guys all over the place. Removing potential hazards, that's what we'll call it. We just gotta navigate the top five. We got two laps to do it. How hard can it be? Look, there's picking off two right there, plain and simple. They cannot get through these corners nearly as good as I can, especially that first one. They can get through this one better than I can. I'll give them credit for that. But these ends I have figured out. And Daniel Suarez going sideways and wide. That gives me a clear shot at the leader. That's all I want. White flag in the air. Oh, we are gaining big time. I, oh, I didn't mean to touch him. That slowed me down. Can we complete the pass? Going into their corner. I need to slow this man down. He puts a shot in on me. All right. We're having a pound for pound battle, a little concrete check. Just gonna hold that bottom as hard as we can. We send them out and we take the dub. Racing redemption, if you will. Oh, that was kind of easy. It is a beautiful thing when the room temperature AI cannot get through the first and last corner, leaving you to just pick up the scraps and we might have caused a few scraps to get laid around with these moves. Here we'll see how we made the final passes to get to that dub and we will prepare to head on to the final round which might have the most jank we've had to face yet this one was pretty much jank free which is what you love to see as well as this pass on the outside rubbing a race it with the competition and the track a little bit off in the dirt and we will come home to get that dub so let's go ahead and move on to the last track well look what we have here it is the final trial of the triangles here today and it is at the coyote park oval layout essentially a high banked pocono speedway with the pinball mod enabled so this is going to be extra crazy and of course we've got the 90s nascar mod and if you know what this car is based off of and you've made it this far leave it as a comment down below i worked real hard on it okay now let's not waste any more time let's go finish this off and we're off in the chain entry of them all and I am very terrified for this exact reason and that is just one element of the jank that we'll be having to deal with this long entirely too thin straight away and the odds of us surviving it regularly are equally as thin and then the other thing you might have noticed is that these cars don't make engine sound anymore so I gotta play music well here we go back through the danger zone here which is exactly what I'm gonna refer to it and it's because of that exact reason you don't have to do anything wrong and you will meet your end that is all it takes. The way Eric Elmerol has been running the season, I was just about to say, I don't like starting next to him. He's scaring me and then he immediately wrecks me and here we go. It's all kicking off. Except that we're all right until Richard Petty wants to shove me into Kligerman for no reason other than just cause he chose violence. 
Oh, we have got problems down here in turn one. The turn one meme has struck even through all the problems. And how is that guy going to perfectly drift into my path? Oh my God, terminating from the grave, these AI, they never give up. Oh my, stop it. Another holy Schradering. I cannot catch a break. Absolute animals out here. And the TV camera's getting a great shot at me and they're not even looking. Couldn't even be bothered to pan over at me. That is ESPN level Pocono camera work right there. How perfect. There's nowhere to run and hide. We need everybody to just behave themselves and they can't do it. We can't even make it to the start finish line. It is mandatory obliteration at all costs. How dare more than half the field make it past pit road and we can't have it. This is so stupid. I need to see it from an exterior angle as well. Look at that. Just an immediate, just from the womb of the race, boom, space force, instant recruit, nothing in between. All that happens is we get left a shattered mess, freed from where we started. Hopefully, if you didn't believe me when I said this was the jankiest one yet, you're coming around, because I sure am. Oh, I am indeed. Any doubters out there looking for doubters? I want to get in the middle just because it's like my natural safe place, but I don't think even Brad Keselowski is taking me out of the mix. We got a super ass pack and that might have actually saved us. It could, oh my God, we've got such an aerodynamic advantage now, if that's what you call it. I don't think this thing's going to drive so good in the corners. It might not matter though. Everybody else is doing just as bad. The third one meme lives on and we're going to drive underneath the big one and Jeffrey and I get out of the way. Come on, man. You're going to make me put myself in the wall after doing all that cool stuff just because you want to be on the way. And Austin Cindric off the pace. That's going to put us in a second. Hold on a minute here. Where's that leader at? Oh, he's choking. He's choking up there. He crashed. The front stretch claims another victim. Oh, and another one back there. It wasn't even that full. How are you guys managing to wreck into each other? Just move out of the way. This is the one part of the track that's actually challenging. You just need to miss everybody and get through this one last lap without Davey Sprint chatting you damn all you. Are you kidding me? Really? The Terminators are functioning at an all time high or low, depending on how you look at it. And here's even more proof. What am I going to have to do to not get my head caved in on every single start? I've got nine points of health. We're not even at the line yet. I made it five feet past the line and got slammed back. You literally cannot write this stuff. Oh my God, immediately with the packings. It doesn't end. It does not end. Wreckfest is having a laugh at this point. And I think I'm a glutton for pain for keeping it going. Come on, land on the damn wheels, please. Thank you. Last car on the racetrack alive. That's what I've been reduced to. We're only now crossing the start line. And then if you somehow survive that, you get, you get treated with this. Somehow we are rolling through this scene 80 minutes after the race has started on the first lap and they are still memeing up the first corner. And now for the death zone, forget the danger zone and somebody is getting ass packed up there and turned around. This is gonna be fun to try to get out of and somehow we do it, a stroke of luck finally lands in our favor. That is appreciated. People driving up on the racetrack are not, however, this is gonna cause a problem. And again, we drive underneath the issues. Not bad, and then somebody comes out of the woodwork just to take us out with the fatal blow. Can I just send it down the pit road to avoid immediate annihilation? Is that allowed or am I gonna get penalized? And look at them, nothing different about me being there or not. Further proof, they're just destined to wreck. Now, will this try to reset me if I do this? Wait, I can... Is this allowed? Oh, we might have just broke the game if that's allowed. We must use the jank to defeat the jank. I am all about this. We have managed to crack the codes, but not for turn one memeage. And again, we just kind of drive through the middle and underneath it into seventh. See if we can get through here in a moderately single file. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Cedric, why? Why did you have to go down there? Literally, the one guy in front of me is like, let me go run into the dead car, herder. I am never not doing this ever again. We are pit road champions from now on. We are going to take this dub and we are going to use every ounce of jank we could muster to do it. And Kyle Larson's going to drag race me. And guess what? I've got the run, buddy. Yeah, you better shake and get out of the way. Look at these two stooges up here. And I, Cindric, are we going to have a problem? Cindric really had to lay that baby touch on me and look what it cost. Look at the state of my car. 
I look like the friggin' turtle from Nemo. Just a big green shell of stupid. Damn it. Now I have a bad feeling we're about to take a big old helping of anti neat on this straightaway and these bums wrecking in front of me is not being promising and they somehow held it. Crafton and Elliot, legends of our time, managed to get through there without dying and they then can't get through turn one. Why? Use the damn brakes! I just got done praising you and you kill me for it! Let's see if we can survive a actual honest run into turn one. Can it be done? It, not by the AI, we've learned that! The Hooters car going for a ride and taking us all with him. That little dirty bastard, Alan would never. Hooters wings aren't good enough to cause this type of pain! What the hell? What, what the actual hell is going on here? Looks like for once we actually got a lot of survivors off the initial start. How about that? And we still can't drive in a straight line with all this extra space. And speaking of space, they're going to space. The Space Force has never had more recruits than it has in this brutal ass combination. Cars literally flying everywhere. This is awful. This is when I wish the game kind of had drafting physics. Even though we're going into the death zone, which would not end well, it would be kind of cool. We're going to get enough of a run on Austin Cindric anyway. Probably Brad's future replacement feels bad, man, but I like me some Austin Cindric. He's all right. Oh, now what he's running me the, the hell? Are you kidding me? Does every single driver out here have to have the bloodlust of a thousand vampires? Jeez, I just want to live. I just want the win. One win and we could go home. I'm not giving up. There's 13 seconds. A lot could happen, but damn it. Just quit whooping my ass every five seconds. Oh my word, I, I don't even, mentally we're destroyed at this point, but the leaders, look, they're losing time. This could be it. This could be the drama we're needing. Oh my God, if they give it up right at the end and I sneak across the line, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but come on, come on, come on. No, no, get on the way, no! No! <laughs> why am I here? Why am I, just why? What am I gaining? I don't think breakfast has ever made me question myself this existentially. I think it just took out the whole field. We're in sixth already. Damn. They just blended those boys up back there. All right. Well, this might be our best shot yet. <laughs> Maybe right when we need it, because I am as mentally depleted as you can possibly get. And the entire leaders just wrecked themselves and me. How can there be literally no survivors on the first lap? And literally everybody gets damaged and wrecks in some damn way. How's that possible? Brennan Poole and I are surely gonna screw this up somehow. I I can feel it in my bones, but we're gonna push it to the limit. Maybe I'll just dump him at some point. Should I just wreck him out? Oh my, that wasn't how I meant to do it. But mission accomplished either freaking way. Minimal damage to my car, let's go. Oh my God, this is a guaranteed podium. Look at the standings with David Pearson out of the race. Everybody fourth down is wrecked out of this race. We cannot screw this up. We absolutely can, but we cannot afford to. This is a gift on a silver platter right here. If I screw this up, I'm deleting the channel. I will literally do this last home stretch at 0.5 mile an hour if I have to. But it looks like we got a clear path. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> We've done it! It's finally over! We got the dub! Victories are seldom as glorious as this one when you consider the journey we have been on today. This one ranks pretty high for me as we draw the triangular trials to a close. We must look at some replays and recap the insanity that we embarked upon and we rose to the top over the course of the day, three vicious triangular tracks, three eras of NASCAR, previously untapped levels of destruction, and still we rise to collect our dubs. It's what we do. It's in our blood. It is only our nature at this point. 
And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we will begin to wind down. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe for more. We will be doing plenty more. No problem with that. It might just take me a while as you've probably gathered by this, but we always have a good time when we show up and that is what counts. So thank everybody so much. And with that, I will see you all in our next glorious adventure. Peace.